make certain that you plan a worthwhile vacation during the summer. Welcome to Travel Range, and today we're going to be ticking down our top 10 choices. Are you looking for summer vacation spots in Europe? If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel, Travel Range, and ring the bell. Be kept up to date on our most recent videos, for in this list, we'll look at some of the greatest locations to visit in Europe. During the hot summer months, according to Lonely Planet, ranked 10th, this coastline region has a Croatian past. Croatians place an order for a crystal clear. The Adriatic Sea has become a popular tourist destination, much more well-liked in recent years, yet not well-liked enough to be overflowing. One of history's most populous cities is Pula, which has Roman ruins going back to the 5th century. Dating back almost 2,000 years with an amphitheater that could put the Colosseum to shame if you're looking for a smaller base town to stay in with easy access to the rest of Istria. Novigrad is a good bet, while Porek is one of the country's prime resort destinations. Even better if your European itch isn't scratched here Slovenia and Italy are just a border away. Number 9. Vive, Switzerland. On the edge of the large and beautiful Lake Lema, known as Lake Geneva, you'll find Vive, a small town with plenty to offer for a short vacation, as well as all the aquatic activities and scenic vistas the lake offers. It's also got a rich cultural history and is known with admiration as one of the pearls of the Swiss, Rivera. Perhaps Vita's most unique claim to fame However, as being the place film legend Charlie Chaplin lived for years, it's even home to a statue of him and a museum dedicated to him fittingly named Chaplin's World. For the chocolate puffs out there, it's also where candy giant Nestle keeps their headquarters. Number 8. It is possible that Liechtenstein's is one of Europe's smallest countries, but this makes it unique, ideal for a lengthy summer weekend, and it will only take you a few minutes. If you have days to explore all of the best sites, desire to immerse yourself in some history from the country, offers five medieval sites that you can see during your trip. Gothenburg Castle is one among the castles to see grew greatly in the 12th century, and it is now a museum open to the public. There are numerous outdoor spaces available to the general public. Activities in the country, such as a brand new long and twisty route, the Liechtenstein Path is a popular destination for art enthusiasts, hikers taking a tour of the country's important landmarks. This also means that you will be able to observe the sights as the snow is falling in the alpine wilderness melted throughout the course of the summer. Lyon, France is ranked 7. It's a top when it comes to cuisine. This is a great place for gastro tourism. If it's food you're interested in, and who isn't really, then you can't do better than spending a few days in one of France's best gourmet centers. If not the best, it's full to bursting with top-of-the-line restaurants, including some of the best in the world, and it's a haven for chefs and foodies alike. This was the home base for the legendary chef and restaurateur Podville because it's also a great jumping-off point to get to other popular parts of France, including the Alps, the French Riviera, and even Paris, much further to the north. But if you don't have time to do a pit-stop tour of the whole country, there is still plenty to see. Number 6. Scotland's Shetland Scotland's Shetland Islands are an archipelago in the North Atlantic. You won't find it in the far north of the United Kingdom. Do you want to get caught out here in the cold? Because of the moderate weather in Scotland throughout the winter, summer is the greatest time to visit. When is the best time to visit the Shetland Islands to explore its coastline hiking trails? If you happen to catch the weather on a good day, you'll be treated to miles of rough terrain. Rural areas and beautiful beaches with, there is a lot of endemic animals to see. It also has a distinct blend of Scottish and Norse ancestors were previously occupied by Vikings and human civilizations' relics. Shetland's history dates back 6,000 years ago. Number 5. Bari, Italy 
This lesser-known port city is one of Italy's hidden gems and is an incredibly beautiful destination on the Adriatic Sea, currently enjoying a sudden influx of interest. You'll want to get to Bari pretty soon before it becomes a big tourist draw at the moment. It's still a great call for a summer in southern Italy. Without fighting through crowds, you'd find in more famous spots like Naples and Venice, Bari Vecchia has many architectural draws with stunning buildings like the Basilica de San Nicola, built in the latter part of the 11th century, as well as the stunning promenade the Lungo Mari Nazario Soro, which offers glorious ocean views. Number 4, Herzegovina, Bosnia and Herzegovina, occupying the southernmost part of Bosnia and Herzegovina's borders. Herzegovina has one charming major city. To its name, most are no longer the desperately war-torn country. It was in the 19th. It also has plenty of picturesque towns and villages across its countryside, including the also charming Stolets. Its oldest city is one of the most majestic sites in Mostar. It's the UNESCO-listed city most historic bridge, sometimes referred to as Monster Bridge, Passing over the lonely Naredvo River, if it's tranquility or sicking, you can head a little further south to the Sufi Blood Guy Monastery, built at the edge of a river underneath a cliff. Number 3, the Arctic Coast, Way Island. This brand new road trip route opens in June 2019. Meaning, if you have been to Iceland before you won't have yet had this experience, it's a remote stretch of northern coast that boasts some of Iceland's best underrated geological attractions. With their mountains and volcanic lakes and waterfalls, the aim of the revamped route is to take tourists out of crowded Reykjavik to get them visiting the country's more remote areas, including a few dozen rural villages and some islands. Well, you will need a car to get around and even then, the trip still takes five days and you'll see parts of Iceland lots of visitors simply haven't explored. Number 2 Madrid, Spain. For a bustling and vibrant vacation, long or short, Spain's capital city should be near or at the top of your list. It's got museums, monuments, restaurants, and clubs, enough attractions that you'll barely have time to sit down if you want to see them all. The Masayo del Prado is a major draw with one of the world's best art collections, holding masterpieces from Rembrandt, El Greco, and Caravaggio, to name just a few. And after touring the plateau and other prestigious art museums, and perhaps an afternoon in the vibrant and verdant El Retiro Park, you can spend an evening dining at the famed Diverso, one of the best and most adventurous restaurants in the world. Number 1. High Tatra, Slovakia If you crave hiking and adventure, these peaks in Central Europe will keep you occupied for as long as you need. Yellow Husky, steeped, commonly referred to as Gaelic, is the highest mountain in this section of the Carpathian mountain range. It's a treasured destination for those looking to climb. The height attracts both in Slovakia and on the Polish side of the border are part of the UNESCO World Network of Biosphere Reserves. And no wonder, this is a region of stunning natural beauty. You can't go wrong here in the winter, but the amazing skiing and cold weather activities, but the stunning lakes and landscapes make this a truly amazing summer destination. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip for travel range and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest video see you in the next one